Hi there, my name's Jason Williams, and um, in this video, I'm going to be putting some um, refurbished Lightforce HTX lights on this TB42 GQ shorty. And um, it's already got a set of King's spotlights on there, um, and they're a bit, they're pretty average, as anyone would know. Um, anyway, um, they, they're having some issues, some things are loose, and... Um, I've already I've got these because I these used to be on my Land Cruiser, and you probably you might have seen I put a new set of spotlights on my cruiser, and um, these were a bit old and tacky, and I thought I'll send them back to Light Force and um, get them refurbished and returned, and so they've been refurbished and they came in new boxes. Cool. <laughs> so um, I guess. You know, I, I have briefly had a look at them, made sure they were, you know, they haven't, they replaced the LED ring in this, and also, they've done something about the, the heat sink on it. Gosh. Um, I don't know whether, like, you can still tell it's the old light. You can see... They've replaced the LEDs, or, you know. I, I want to see how they go. And the, the purpose mainly for this video, so I do, I'll put them in there. I've got, I've got the um, dual switching wiring kit as well, a new one, because the other one was stuffed. And um, the reason for the video is so I can actually put um, the lights head to head at some point. I want to do a video where I test a refurbished HTX versus the um, Laser Sentinels, which is on the cruiser. And I'd like to see which one's actually better. I mean, I've got a um, inclining that the, um, that the lasers will be better, but at the same time, this is refurbished and refreshed. So maybe the light force might come out better. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But um, in the like to start with, I've got to remove these bodies. Well, I'm, I'm wondering now if the HX is even going to fit in here or if I may have to make new brackets, which I reckon will be the case. I don't reckon these are going to match up. Test fit. There's actually two holes here, which is okay, but will they even work don't look like it so i'm just gonna um i've marked out a little spot here to the side i'm just gonna test drill it like i'm gonna drill a hole and then sit it in there and see if i can't get it to sit nicely Probably going to be a bit close to the bar. I'll see you. See how I go. Not ideal, but um, I'm I'm still I'm thinking I might have to cut this off and re-weld it on. Don't want to do that, but oh well. This is what happens, isn't it? Yeah, no chance. I'm not going to be able to get a spanner to it. It's not going to work. It's going to be chaos and annoying. I'm going to have to um, cut these off and reattach them. I can see where I'll cut and reattach. I've got plenty of room if I move it across. I have to knife both the brackets off and um, move them across to here. Just just over a bit. I'll mark that out and cut them off. All right, so um, that got them all. Um, you know, I cut them off. I've moved them across, moved them across, marked them where I want them. Got a magnet holding it in place. Had to clean them up with the grinder. And then um, just weld it in and make sure you, if you're ever welding on the car, make sure you remove the negative terminal off your battery. Because um, even though this hasn't got electrics, it's your um, alternator that it can screw up. If that 
if the power is able to pass through as a circuit. All right, try this. That's one well done. Well done on. I gotta clean it up and and paint it. And I'll I'll continue on with the other. Won't record it. That's um. <clears throat> You know, just to make sure that um, should be pretty strong. Yep, of course it is. All right, so they're welded on. They're um, strong as anything. They're gonna do their job. And I've, um, I need some wax and grease remover. Right? Well, I've got a little bit of brake cleaner here and a bit of a clean rag. So um, that's gonna have to do for the wax and grease remover. I've got these bits of metal that are just lying around, so that's going to do for a um, paint guard on off on other surfaces. That I'm painting around. I have some um, primer and some subframe black semi gloss, which should be similar to the paint that's on this bull bar. Move them. Get in underneath. So I'm not getting too fussed about any of this because um, this bull bar's got to come off at some point, and the this whole car's going to get repainted. So I'm just doing this basically so it doesn't um, rust in the meantime. You know, not ever being sh never being sure how long it's going to be before I get to it. Alright, I'll give that, um, what I'll do is I'll give that a few minutes, give it another couple of coats of this primer and then leave it for a bit more and then paint it with the black. Alright, so with the brackets welded on um, and I was removing some wires and I actually discovered something that um, I'm, at, I'm hoping somebody who knows GQs might be watching this or somebody who knows patrols will be able to tell me what's going on here. So, um... One of these cables, this one here, runs into the um, uh, fuse box or where, they keep the re where the relays are stored behind the battery here. And um, in there is a, there's a circuit breaker, that one there, and, and two um, relays. So the power comes into the circuit breaker splits off into two feeding power to both these relays and both these relays are operated by the same circuit which runs off the headlights switch touch, tucked in behind here and um, so the the main headlight switch is not plugged into the sealed beam because this is just the um, factory sealed beam lights in this one and um, and so the the power feed for the high beam and the low beam of that plug runs in to activate these relays, um, and it is quite odd in the sense that the plug on the other side, the factory plug that's up up that end, is not plugged in at all, and there was no power to it. I t checked it, and there's a um, a cable bridging across like a, it's neat it's like relatively well done so it was done by a professional and um, and so one of these relays the long and short of it one of these relays operates a right hand light and the other relay operates the left hand light so the right hand light and the left hand light and um, is that normal you know I mean is this a bit of a GQ thing or early model, model GQ thing? Is it is that kind of normal? I was going to actually rerun it and fix it and remove those relays. Then I realised, you know what, I might as well just uh, leave it the way it is. And, um, and I've got this old signal wire that runs off the headlights. And that's going to be, that runs off the high beam. And that's going to run... The high beam switching for the wiring kit that I'm going to put in. Yes, and that I'll do now. But hopefully, if you're, if you know anything about these um, 
GQs, the patrols. Um, is this a thing? Does it happen? Is it is it sort of a, it seems like it's fairly normal or must be, like a lot of, maybe it gets done because what I have noticed is the, the wiring is quite neat with nice plugs on it. And so with that being the case, I'll just hook up these lights as normally using that signal wire and, um, and continue from there. All right, install lights. And just to mention quickly, the, these um, these lights, I just saw the receipt, cost me $690 to have them sent to Lightforce, refurbished and sent back. So that's freight the whole lot. So I don't know if that's a, a good deal or not, but I guess we'll figure it out. They did come with all new bolts, which was nice and new brackets, mounts, new heat ring, new LED ring. I think the HRDs are the originals, eh? And the covers are definitely the originals. All right, with the Light Force dual switching harness, I'm not gonna mount them in there I've got a spot that can go just in here and um, there's only one cable that's got to go into the dash and that is where did you go oh yeah this one and this one's going to be to the switches to operate them individually on and off like you know so I can ind individually switch what I want and do do it how I do and um, being this hasn't had huge amount of accessories attached to it, this should be pretty easy to just feed straight on in there. Should. Being that pretty forward through the um, little rubber gland here. You know, with that, I'll, I'll, I guess I can show you where it comes through on the inside. All right. Going through the gland. If you can, I can stick my hand in and just pull it through. And that's that. Just got to make sure I pull enough through. Because where it will go is um, in under, under the console here. And through to the dash. And see, I had, these were already chopped out for, um, some rocker switches where the uh, the air locker and compressor were, but I put them up there. But so here, the the switches that come with art rocker switches, so they're still going to put out of there, and I'm going to just loop them over and then probably just stick them to the surface here, and then see if I can get some blanks for that later. Yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you what the switches look like real quick. <laughs> Wherever they went, here they are. These are the switches, so it's got a, seems to be like the thing that everyone's using. I don't know what happened to rocker switches, I like rocker switches, but anyway. That, um, they'll stick there and uh, I'll run that through now and then get onto it. Alright, so with that wire down in there separate the um the last other signal wires which is you know your your earth power and the um signal for the high beam activation put them aside you know the relays are going to be here somewhere and then what i can do is feed these guys one at a time just taking my time Gently and feeding them under here because they might I might run out of room really quickly. I have to be a little bit mindful of what I'm doing. Not so much going in this side, but coming out the other side. I could make this easier and unplug that and remove it, get out of the way, but um, those 
plugs are a little bit stiff and brittle. The last thing I want to do is break any of them. All right, and so with that relay mounted in there nice and neatly, it's a little bit, um, some of it's a bit rough. This is the signal wire, and that is the rest of the cable going to inside. I'll neaten all this up when I've finished. Um, I've got to attach the positive, which is here, to, to this one, somewhere there. I won't do that yet. I've got to attach the signal wire, which is this really long wire. It does not need to be this long. It was um, This was the old signal wire running into the dash to operate some other lights, those King's ones. I guess I should um, probably go ahead and I might as well install the power because um, make sure this doesn't spark. No. Um, go ahead and install this because then I can um, test that this is definitely right which is probably the easiest thing to do isn't it and so putting another end on that so it was the right size since this is very long I might as well cut a fair bit of it off and um Give it a bit of a strip. There we go. And there. Put the heat shrink on. Shove it in there. A little bit sticking out the end. Use the right diameter. And give it a good old crap. Oops. And don't do what I just did. And accidentally pull the wire out. As you're moving your hands. Now, can I get the heat shrink over it? Just. Your world heat shrink, so you wait till the um, glue becomes apparent. It's at that end. And that end now. Right. I guess I'll move this camera and see if I'm testing it. As a quick test. And the lights on, high beam on, yep, that was all working. All right, I mean, this should work straight away. Should maybe not. Nope. All right, what haven't I done? Oh, is the fuse even in there? Fuse is in there. Didn't look like it was plugged in though. The fuse was not plugged in. All right, try again. back to the drawing board and have a think about better chase this see what's going on so I've been doing a bunch of testing and um, it turns out well possibly I, I bridged two batches together it looks like this battery is um, not got enough depth in it and um, I can tell it's too small you know, it's um, it's way too small for this uh, for this battery cradle, and so I'm gonna go ahead and 
take the battery out and change it. I've got a new one just there behind me. And um, see if this works. Oh, maybe. Let's hope this is all it is. Oh, far out. Of course you did. That's what I thought. Shush up, Siri. This battery sits higher too. Hmm. Considerably higher. It's a bit thicker as well. Much better fit in it. Nope. Doesn't look good. Nope. Ah, that's a bummer. Stop and have a rethink. I'm gonna have to rethink that. All right, so not been having much luck in here. Um, I even stripped back the um, sheathing of this and tried to see if I can work out if there was something wrong with the um, resistor between the negative and positively switched systems. You know, just testing a few things out. And then I think I figured out what it might be, why it's not working. If we look over here, there's earth lead. That's pretty dismal. That's pretty poor. It should be in. It should be there with them. So I'm going to rectify the earth lead and see if that works. Could you imagine if it was something this simple? I would feel so dumb. Pretty clearly I'm not an electrician. <laughs> I'm very hopeful that this might be the case. I'm very hopeful, but I'm also quite doubtful. But then again, I'm not, not an electrician, so what would I know? Might have gone through all that, buying a new battery and, or at least I got the right size battery. Oh well, I move the camera and see what happens. Here goes nothing. Well, didn't sound like it. Nope. Oh, I have lights in here. I don't believe it. I have lights in there. And what do you know, it works. All of that, and it was a bad earth. Wow. Man, just goes to show. Mechanical stuff, I'm brilliant, well not brilliant, you know. Mechanical stuff, yes, I can do it. I can build and fix anything. I can make things and electrics, not so good. Well, oh, well I better put all this together. I've just got to reseal that up and um, re all these cables up 
um, attach that bit properly, just neaten it as much as I can. And then tonight, I'll go and test them. I'm, you know, wonder if they're better than what they were. I can't do a direct comparison, but I do remember what they were like. So I assume they'll be better, these lights that is. Um, and then I guess I'll probably um, do another video and put them um, head to head against the um, laser sentinels that are on my Land Cruiser behind the camera here um, and, and test the difference between the two. But yeah, I, I can't believe it. It was just an earth cable. I should have known. Should have been, you know, I've been trying so many different things and wasting time and running around and even bought a new battery. I mean, at least I got a new battery. What a waste. <laughs> and, um, wow. And the right size battery. The other battery is not, not nearly as big. This one at least fills the whole space. Um, the other one didn't fill the whole space at all. And so I was probably asking too much from it anyway. But, um, yeah, all right. I'll continue with this and get it up and done. All right, so testing lights. Low beam, as you can gather, and then bam. And that's um, the LEDs. The signs definitely reflect back. I remember why I um, upgraded the lights, but um, since the refurbishment, the LEDs are way better way better colour without the spotties well without the centres that's with the centres back on without the this is the LED ring off yep definitely want the LED on they don't spread as much as the um, laser sentinels and they're not quite as good but I'm pretty happy with these these are quite a nice light yeah and uh no refurbished light force HDX they do a pretty good job well so those lights are much much better they're um they're much clearer much you know there's a lot better light coming out of there and um the, the lights reflecting off me at the moment so that's you know that's that's good you know nice amount of light and the paddock's lit up and um all right, and so if we burn over here, I assume you can see those. I'll probably be fuzzy on the camera lens, no doubt. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's it. It was a bit of a bit of a messing around for me with the the electrics, the um, the 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 standard headlights on the GQ are, are pretty crappy. Might have to do something about that. I'll make a video doing that if I get some other lights and um, yeah uh, I struggled through the um, with the electrics I made a lot of rookie errors I'm not an electrician thank goodness eh and um, yes thank you very much for watching and I will aspire to see you in the next one